Ear plucking is not something that I normally offer to my clients unless it is medically necessary. This is Frida and she's a standard poodle puppy. I'm putting ear powder inside the ear so that it's easier for me to grip the hair. When the hair is full of wax or infection, it's very slippery and can be difficult to pull out. Ear plucking used to be a standard service that I would offer to almost every single client for the first five years of business. Oh God, Frida, this is a nightmare. This was something that I did simply because I was taught to do so. I've spoken to many different veterinarians and realized that many of them have conflicted opinions about ear plucking. I found that many dogs get irritated after having their ears plucked and they will scratch or shake their head continuously, which can cause ear hematomas. So I came up with a simple rule for myself. If it's not broken, don't fix it. In this case, Frida had some pretty nasty ear infections. It stinks. The amount of hair that's in her ears is going to prohibit the medication from being able to reach the ear canal and clear up the infection. So we have no choice but to pull this hair out and make it easier for the owner to treat their pet. The ear canal is pretty far down, so using scissors is not an option. It's very infected. I normally like to use my fingers instead of hemostats, but in this case the hair was so dense and thick I was having a very difficult time trying to remove it using my fingers, so hemostats is easier. I know this looks painful. That's the reason why I left the volume on on this video, so you can hear that she's not making any noise and she's not trying to get away. In fact, this actually probably feels good for her. This is likely a yeast infection like she's had in the past, which means her ears are very itchy. So she's enjoying this whole process. Gosh. I'm going to be here all day. Before anyone has something to say about the owner, she is an absolutely incredible pet owner and she did not realize that her dog had an infection. With all that hair, it would be very hard to see. Oh, this is intense, girl. If your dog is one that requires regular ear plucking, this can absolutely be done at home. Ear powder can be purchased at your local pet store and you can just pull it out with your fingers. After the ear is finished being plucked, I do not wipe them out with ear cleaner. The reason for this is because this dog will have to go to the vet and get a swab done of the ear to find out if it is fungus or bacteria. That way the veterinarian knows the correct medication to prescribe for their patient. If your dog suffers with chronic ear infections, you might want to have a conversation with your veterinarian about how this could be food allergy related. When my German Shepherd struggled with chronic ear infections for the first three years of her life, it was my veterinarian who told me that it could be related to her food. I tried every different type of kibble available on the market and it didn't matter what she ate, the infections always came back. That was until I switched her to a raw meat diet. Her diet contains muscle meat, liver, bone, and other organs mixed in with leafy green vegetables only. I do not feed her any vegetables that are high in carbohydrates and she does not get any fruit. 
That's because the infections that she chronically got were yeast infections. What does yeast need in order to multiply and become a problem? It needs sugar. Carbohydrates and fruit, when digested, turns into sugar in the body. Since making this switch nine years ago, she has been free of ear infections. The raw diet may not be suitable for all dogs, depending on your dog's current health problems. In addition to that, it needs to be fed properly balanced, or you can cause more harm than good. Please speak to a pet nutritionist or veterinarian for more information. And in the description, I have linked a dog chef that I really like. Now I will leave you to enjoy the rest of Frida's ear cleaning. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two from this video today.